Okay, so that means that Giyu... I think Giyu non-will is probably best. Resisted. Yeah, that's also a big part. Still stuns because of despair. No armor break, though. So... It's a very good counter against the Ollie here. Ollie kind of has to do S2 on that one, otherwise the skill would be up, yeah. Fire Totem. Provokes 2. Is that enough, though? Thing is, there's... The first one resisted. So if that one wasn't resisted, I think it was okay, but... I think Giyush needs to be very tanky, because otherwise she gets a, a target on her ass and she just dies. So, was this a good setup to use her in? Yes. Did it really work out? Maybe if that S2 wasn't resisted. Because she got a lot of attack bar compared to everyone else. But is it enough though? Counter, counter stun, that's why I like the revenge. That's why I, exactly why I like the despair revenge here. You can't armor break on it. But it is nasty. To stun revenge is just nasty. And look at how much attack bar she's gaining. It is a good amount. But then again, can you do enough though? Karma once again. I want to see how much damage... I barely noticed the damage increase of her actually. Like supposedly there's a damage increase. The moment that... Um, she hits something that's suppressed, but... I... I barely notice it, to be honest. Okay, that's one stacker gone, probably second stacker gone. And a dead unit, almost dead unit. Nah, he will win this. Was this a very heavy Giyu play? Mm, not the best, like if it was, if the Giyu was a vert, it would have done same shit. Probably even better. But the suppressors are pretty nice, but that was the damage that was supposed to be more, right? It did do damage on a suppressed target, and it hit for what, 2.2k? That's nothing. Like, what kind of extra damage is that? That's nothing. So I'm not sure how that works. But it feels really like lost to that extra damage. So it's mainly just her attack bar. I felt like she would start doing like, what, 5k's? 6k's? The moment she hit something that's suppressed, but... I don't know. That part feels pretty weak about her. So I'm not too sure about that part at all. 4% of max HP. Yeah, that's near to nothing. Yeah, HP scaling, I guess. So maybe on a mall long it does a bunch more, but 4% of max HP for an, a damage hit is still very lackluster, I would say. But I feel like a really good counter into her is Antares. Because Antares, if she takes a lot of turns, Antares is going to take a lot of turns. So, armor break on that. Did it land the suppress? Not landing the suppress is pretty big, though. But the thing is, she already has her skills up, so... You kind of are forced to reset her. But, then again, she needs to be very tanky to actually be viable, because she's... Actually a target that's often hit first or early, because people find it annoying and dangerous. So, for that reason, if you bolt yours on a very tanky set, I think it's more interesting than um, having it super fast. Because she will get turns, definitely. It's like a Diana, they, they will get turns. Would you go right away for triple HP on it, though? That's very turn 2 based. I think it's still good if it outspeeds some of your units. And yet, if it outspeeds your... Well, you're not really going to play it together with Oliver, so you don't have to outspeed your Oliver. Because I think you together with Oliver is probably pretty terrible. Hmm. So it doesn't necessarily have to... Well, it's still nice if it outspeeds some of your units to strip. But is it really a necessity? I'm not sure. Siege offense, she will definitely be good. She will definitely be good. Because um, units in siege defense will spam their skills, most likely. Good stun. Yeah, that's also the thing. Suppress, you can still cleanse. Still armor broken, though. A whoosh whoosh. Not that much whoosh whoosh damage. Oh, and that's instantly a reckless assault and a dead one. 
So yeah, do you have enough damage to overcome a Molly right now? No, he already knows. Like he has no damage. So, hmm, not sure if you want to give you into this though. Wait, do you actually want to give you because um, Wusa boost for what? 15? 25? I think or 20? I think 20, right? And then Giyu boosts 35. Hmm. Let's see. Wait, doesn't want to use it? I guess he mainly doesn't want to use it because of the uh, more rather than anything. Yeah, I think the Pisama already fucks up the whole team. Yeah, kill the Pisama, you're dead. Well, wait, actually the more can survive a Pisama hit. That's why I'm not sure you're focusing that, but yeah, I pretty much already won. Okay, so Giyu, back and forth. I feel like people over spam it right now and therefore it feels kind of weak. Um, as in this match, for example, there's... All of the skills are long cooldown. Gurkha doesn't only use as S1, sometimes S2. I feel like Giyu in this kind of setup is somewhat weak. Well, she does outspeed that, but then double rest. Oof, nasty. Good damage. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, for a setup where someone does a booster, you over boost. So for that, she's somewhat nice. But you got to keep in mind that she gets resistant. And she's somewhat easy to kill. And if you win this, would it be, have been because of Giyu? Slightly. Slightly. But... Hmm. I'm still not really sure yet. I feel like the unit has potential, but it has to be fitting the draft. Was it really fitting the draft here? More or less, but it died too easily. I feel like a lot of these Gyus die too easily. Yeah, I think that's an issue. People put leftover runes on her, and then she just dies. I really feel like she should have like the sweet spot with a 35 boost to outspeed all Vio units. And after that, just go full tankiness. And if that means 100 res, I'm not 100% sure yet. But... I feel like she has some decent potential. How's Geopost buff? I've seen a few people use it. I'm not that impressed about it yet. Well, we shall see. Going for the Han. Wait, that actually opens Geo potential. Hmm. But then Gyo plus whom? Not sure if this is going to be too passive. We shall see. I might lack a lot of damage in this setup though. We shall see. Wait, well, yeah, has minus on wind, right? Yeah. Tian Lang, Tian Lang kind of fucks up this unit pretty big. And a Baldrick, okay. I might be pretty screwed here, actually. I think I'm very screwed, to be honest. Because I feel like I have to ban this, more or less. Well, let's just have fun. Yeah, I guess T Lang is a super hard counter against Giyu.
It's so weird to see these uh, things all the way at the edge right now. Okay, that's not bad actually. Um, actually just want to do this armor break. Mm -hmm. Oh, that a resist. There the resist. He's actually playing as if it would have landed. Yeah, if he kills Pisama, he's already dead. This team actually worked for some reason pretty well. Kill Pisama, go for it. You have to do it at some point. Actually did land it. Still doesn't dare to do it. You know it's hitting like 5k's S1 on you already. Come on, just kill it, I wanna see the damage. <laughs> kill it! Thank you! 19k AoE! <laughs> oh, that fucks up your team badly, man. Wait, that actually worked out a lot better than I expected. Yeah, for the people, people are going to wonder like, what kind of uh, pisama is that? This is that pisama. I highly underestimated the mode damage. Yeah, that's the skill's pretty nice, but yeah, this is. Uh, this is some of us math, and then we're not done yet, look at this. 104. 104 extra attack from lost HP. But we're not done yet, we also have crit damage skill 3, crit damage low, crit damage high, crit damage self. <laughs> it's a 51 and a 53. This thing does an insane amount of damage. And then look at the defense. The only defense is from this rune. And the HP is pretty much just this rune. Like, there's barely anything else besides that. <laughs> I can actually upgrade this one. This is the only one that's still upgradable. And then besides that's pretty much my Lucian runes. Yeah, this thing has... This thing... I fucked up how to play with this one. How's gear damage? Gear damage feels low. Like, gear damage when suppressed, I've seen some people use it. It feels really low. 